Hello, I'm Fred Schneider and you're tuned in to The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The City has launched QuickTax, a new online revenue portal that lets residents and businesses file tax returns and make payments online with ease. Quick tax covers earnings tax, business license tax, utility taxes, and more. To register or learn more about this online resource, please visit quicktax.kcmo.org. June is Adopt a Shelter Cat Month, and that means that the city's animal shelter will waive all adoption fees on adult cats and will discount the adoption fee to $50 for kittens six months or younger. Residents who adopt two kittens will have the second adoption fee waived as well. All cat and kitten adoptions include spay or neuter surgery, a microchip, and age-appropriate vaccinations. For more information, please visit kcpetproject.org. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with the Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation Department. As summer finally arrives, residents are invited to celebrate with Parks and Rec. We have many fun events planned that the whole family will enjoy. Come out to Southmoreland Park for the 21st annual Heart of America Shakespeare Festival. This free festival will take place between June 18th and July 7th and will present As You Like It a delightful comedy featuring mistaken identities, madness, and mayhem. Gates will open at 6 p.m. with parody performances before the 8 p.m. curtain at 6.30 and 7.15. For more information or tickets, visit kcshakes.org. Residents are invited to the grand reopening of the Greg Kleist Community Center on Saturday, June 22nd at 10.30 a.m. Crews recently completed a massive renovation of the center, adding many new amenities, including steam rooms, a hot tub, a dry sauna, fitness equipment, and more. In addition, ADA accessibility improvements were made, and the locker rooms, pool area, and fitness room flooring have all been updated. Yoga Rocks the Park has come to Kansas City. Every Sunday morning throughout June, families are invited to Roanoke Park for a yoga and music gathering. Registration begins at 9 a.m. Children will enjoy Camp Yoga Rocks from 9.50 to 11.20 a.m. while adults can focus on yoga from 10 to 11.15 a.m. Afterward, families can enjoy the music and play in the park. This event costs $12 in advance or $15 at the park. For more information, visit yogarocksthepark.com and click on Kansas City. And of course, the second annual concert in the park, featuring the Eddie Moore Quartet, will take place Thursday, June 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Roanoke Park. Residents are invited to bring their blankets, lawn chairs, and refreshments while enjoying the music. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on the calendar or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Taking steps to reduce your gas and electric bills is a great way to save on your overall household budget. And for low-income homeowners, the city's weatherization program may make this process even easier. The weatherization program helps people to save money on their utility bills by making energy efficient repairs to the home at no cost to qualified homeowners. The average utility savings is more than $400. Applications are accepted year round and can be found online at kcmo.org housing. Residents of Jackson, Clay, and Platte counties may apply to receive these services, not just Kansas City residents. Eligible applicants will receive an energy audit performed by a city employee to determine where energy is being wasted in their home and the most cost-effective ways to correct these issues. 
Repairs may include heating and air conditioning, insulation, doors and windows, water heater replacement, or other general repairs. All work carries a one-year warranty and is performed by certified contractors. This grant-funded program has been sponsored by the city for more than 30 years and has served more than 10,000 households. Last week, the bomb and arson unit disposed of confiscated fireworks in a container specifically designed to accommodate such explosions. And while beautiful to watch, that is what they are. Bombs with colors. Master Detective Mike Lester. With the fireworks season coming, you just have to remember that fireworks are dangerous regardless whether they're professional fireworks or, or commercial fireworks that you could buy at any stand. They're dangerous for anyone to use and you just have to use caution when you use them. I would leave fireworks in the hands of professionals. Uh, even when you buy fireworks at the fireworks stand, they're, they're still explosives, they're still powerful, and every year we have several people hurt in the city. The Kansas City Police will be enforcing the city ordinance regulating the use of fireworks within the city limits. Captain Ty Grant has this reminder. There is an ordinance uh, against anybody to possess, sell, or explode fireworks in the city of Kansas City. So obviously it's loud, it makes a mess in the city. Um, they can be dangerous, but it helps prevent fires and, and other type of property damage in the city as well. Uh, according to the ordinance, officers can confiscate the fireworks, at which time, if, if we do that, we'll destroy them. The fine includes a, up to a $500 fine and up to six months in jail. Fireworks in the city of Kansas City are illegal and uh, um, by all means, enjoy yourselves, but understand that the fireworks are illegal and if the police officers see them, they can confiscate them. An issue not often considered is the liability risk a person takes when shooting fireworks in neighborhoods. The cost may be far greater than the maximum $500 fine. We spoke with Farmer's Insurance agent, Brad Newcomer. The fine that you may get for shooting fireworks would be relatively small compared to um, the ramifications with your insurance. If you're outside and you're shooting fireworks, um, and within the city it is illegal to do so, um, if you inadvertently burn your neighbor's house down, you're going to have coverage on your homeowner's policy, uh, liability coverage that will cover the damages. However, if your policy does not cover the extent of damages, you can be out of pocket that difference. Even though your insurance covers it, down the road you may be looking at potential rate increases due to the claim. Uh, you could even potentially be looking at a non-renew situation where they decide not to renew your policy. It's real simple. Um, if the city says we are not to shoot fireworks in the city, we're not to possess them, then don't. Um, if you want to be responsible and shoot fireworks, go to an area designated to do so or go watch a display. That surely will, will help with your insurance premiums. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe but fun 4th of July and leave the fireworks to the professionals. Thank you very much. Uh, Again, good evening. My name is Mark McHenry uh, with KC Parks and Recreation Department. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, Brush Creek Community Center in the first Saturday night of Club KC. Club KC, as you're probably aware, is part of the Mayor's Nights program, along with a few other programs throughout the city, but this is a great place to be here at Brush Creek. And the Mayor's Nights programs at Club KC is developed and are under the leadership of uh, Mayor James. Mayor James is a strong advocate for the city of Kansas City, Missouri, He's a strong advocate for youth in Kansas City, Missouri, and we're very fortunate to have him here this evening, the mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, Mayor Sly James. Hey, good evening, and thanks for everybody for being here. I want to thank you for being here for the official kickoff of 2013 Mayor's Night events. I also want to thank everybody for joining me here tonight at the Brush Creek Center, where last year we served over thousands of people. 7,500 young people went through these centers last year, Brush Creek and Greg Kleiss at Tony Aguirre, and we're going to be even better and stronger than that. Parks and Rec is dedicated to programming this community center and all the other ones to make sure that we have a strong youth program that takes place this summer. Kansas City Police Department is here to make sure that everybody is safe 
and that there are no issues, and also to protect people from things that may happen from those outside. Kansas City PD and Parks and Recreation are absolutely the best when it comes to working with us on these programs. We do this as a city and we do it as the Parks Department because we know this is important. But we can't do it by ourselves. We need parents to help us. We need schools. We need the faith community to help us. In short, we need everybody in this city to understand that our youth is something that we all have to pitch in and work with. Because if we don't, we'll have problems and we don't need that. And they need a safe place where they can have fun and participate in things. And I know you want to get out and get inside, but I also want to congratulate the winner of tonight's Mayor's Night Limo Contest. Oh! So the winners of the limo ride this night are Anton Shears and his friends. So here they come now, coming around the bend there. And they're here, they're here because they signed up early, they picked up their VIP cards early, and they're here to help us kick off tonight. So once again, everybody who made this possible, thank them and remember there's people out there trying to do good things. And go inside tonight and have a great time, guys, all right? Thanks. Looking ahead, the city will host a large recycling event on Saturday, June 15th from 8 a.m. to noon behind Metro North Mall. Residents of Kansas City and other participating communities may safely recycle their household hazardous waste, including antifreeze, oil, and paint. In addition, for Kansas City, Missouri residents only, there will be an on-site dumpster for leaf and brush drop-off, paper shredding services, and a tire disposal site. Proof of residency will be required. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the mayor and city council. PIAC invites residents to attend its upcoming hearings on Tuesday, June 18th at 6.30 p.m. at both the Kansas City Museum Carriage House and also at the Southeast Community Center and on Thursday, June 20th at 6.30 p.m. at the Hillcrest Community Center. For a complete listing of PIAC hearings throughout June and July, please visit kcmo.org slash PIAC. Residents with ideas for making Kansas City a bicycle-friendly community are invited to attend a public meeting on updating the city's Bike KC plan. The meetings will take place Tuesday, June 18th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Mid-Continent Library, North Oak Branch, and on Thursday, June 20th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Brush Creek Community Center. To learn more about the city's Bike KC plan, visit kcmo.org slash bike KC. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week.